Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to convert your Wix website into a WordPress website. Now, you can do this manually. It would take a lot of time, probably, depending on the size of your website, but there is an automatic solution that 10web.io came up with that uses AI, artificial intelligence, to automatically convert your Wix website, in this case, to a WordPress website. So if that's something you're interested in learning how to do for yourself, let's go ahead and hop on into the tutorial. Okay, so if you are familiar with Wix, you'll recognize this as the Wix dashboard, and you can see here that I have a Wix website at this URL. So let's take a look at my website. It is called uh, Going Places, it's a travel blog, and it uh, has some different types of categories here, travel, eat, relax, and as featured in, and then a footer down at the bottom. Up in the header, we have social icons on the right, and then two links here. So we have an about page, which looks like this, okay? And a travel page that looks like this. It's just a feed of all of our travel blog posts. So if we wanted to convert this into a WordPress website, we can use 10web.io to do that. Um, I have a link in the description below. If you do end up making a purchase through that link, I will earn a commission at no extra cost to you. So thank you for your support if you do end up doing that. Uh, but you can do a 14-day free trial as well. Um, the, the thing is you have two different options for how you want to proceed with this. Okay, so you can either host your new WordPress website with 10Web, and I'll show you some of their pricing right now, or you can take uh, your current Weebly website and convert it into a WordPress website on another hosting platform. So that could be something like Kinsta or Dreamhost or Namecheap or Cloudways or any other place that you can possibly host a WordPress website. That second method is a little bit more complicated. You have to install a plugin. There's a couple extra steps involved with that. We won't be talking about that in this video. I just wanna make you aware that that is an option. That is a free option. And, um, uh, that will be, uh, I'll, I'll show you at which point in this tutorial that you will branch off from what we're going to do here. But for this tutorial, we will be using 10 web hosting. And like I said, here is some of that pricing. So it comes from $10 a month for one website and you can do the 14 day free trial. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And what it's going to ask you to do is to create your account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And once you create your account, like I was saying, there's those two options. You can either host it with 10Web on the left or on the right. If you have hosting somewhere else, you can download the plugin and proceed with the tutorial that way. Uh, what we're gonna do is host with 10Web. So on the left, I'm gonna click on create now. And this is gonna ask us, what's the name of your website and where do you wanna host it? So for me, for this demonstration, Iowa is okay in a data center in Iowa. And I'm gonna call my site title, Tony's Travel Blog. Okay, I'll click on the create button here and this will take a minute or two. So we'll fast forward through this. And now that we have a blank WordPress website, it's asking us how we would like to proceed. And we want to use the 10 web AI builder to clone our existing Wix website and convert it into WordPress. So let's click on that option here. And this is where we can take the URL of our Wix website for the homepage and paste it in here. So let's go back over there and I'm going to go to my homepage for my Wix website copy the URL and paste it into here. It's gonna check it. Hopefully we'll get a green checkbox and we do. And then for each page on your site, you'll have to add those individually. So I'll go to the about page, copy that URL, paste it in here. It'll check it, that looks good. And then uh, just for the sake of this demonstration, we'll just do these, these three pages in the menu. We'll copy that, paste it in here and we'll get the green checkbox. And then finally, we can click on recreate and import. Now, this will take a minute or two to actually do the conversion from Wix to WordPress. So we will, again, fast forward through this as well. All right, guys. Now, as you can see on the screen here, it says AI Assistant recreated your website and saved you hours of manual work. Let's see what it has done for us. So we'll click on the view and edit button, and that's gonna open a preview of our now WordPress website. So what we're looking at here is WordPress. And I, right off the bat, I can see a few subtle differences. So um, this is WordPress again. Let's go back to the Wix site, to the home page, and you can see that our icons for social were grayscale here, but over on this website, they are colored. So that's one change that we'll have to tweak. And it looks like the header menu options are a little bit out of alignment. So we'll fix that as well. 
going down here, these uh, buttons on top of the images, those were not rounded and they are out of alignment as well. So this is WordPress right now that we're looking at and this is the original Wix site. So we'll have to make those tweaks as well. So looking at WordPress again, the social icons are different down here as well. Um, but otherwise, content itself is here. Let's look at the about page. Um, pretty much looking good here. I don't have any comments. And the travel page itself, uh, we got our feed of our latest blog post. So that looks good too. So what we're going to want to do is to edit this, make those tweaks that I'm talking about. I'm going to walk you through that because the, the process here, it's using AI. It's not 100% perfect, maybe gets you 80, 90% of the way there. Uh, but I'm going to show you how you can get it as close as possible to your original website on WordPress. So what we can do is click, <clears throat> if you have the blue button down here, you can click on that, but you can also click on edit with 10 web builder up here. And that's going to open up the elementor page builder, which is going to allow us to access the individual design elements of the page. So let's work on the header first. So up here in the header, um, what we want to do is edit the header template and this like I like I was saying before to you guys this is out of alignment I think this should be aligned to the right more and then we want to head work on these social icons as well so let's fix that it looks like they're aligning these to the right so let's align those to the left and if there is any extra padding in here I want to get rid of that on the right and the left and then um this padding on the right, we can get rid of that as well. So that looks good for that menu. Over here for the social icons, we wanna do something similar, except we wanna get rid of the margins on the right and the left, and we wanna align that to the right. So we're at opposite sides. So that looks much better to begin with. Now let's change the color of the social icons. So you can see we have our social icons over here on the left. I'm gonna click on the YouTube one and instead of the color using the official color, unless you like that, um, we can change it to a custom color and we'll change the primary color to uh, like a grayish color. And I'm gonna copy the color code here so that we can apply the same exact color to the Instagram icon. So we'll paste that there. And then the same thing for Facebook. We will make that a custom color, change the primary color to that same grayscale color. Okay, so that, that looks good. The icons aren't going to be exactly the same, but that's what we have to work with. So that's going to be good for the header. So we'll update that and we'll get out of here. And now this header will be applied to all of our pages. So our home page, about page, and travel page. When we refresh this page, you'll see that new header replace the, the old one here that the AI created. So uh, very good. Yeah, again, not exactly perfect. This is the WordPress site and this is the Wix site. So they're similar, uh, but you know, we're getting there. Um, what I'm more worried about down here is these buttons on top of the pictures. So for these, I don't think the AI did a very good job to be honest. Um, I'm gonna edit each one of these individually. For this one, it seems to be adding that padding. So we wanna get rid of the padding and we want to align it in the center of the picture. So I'm gonna go to the style section uh, actually, I'm going to go to the content section and make sure that's centered. I'm going to do that for eat as well. So make sure that's centered and then get rid of the extra padding that I added in there. And same thing for relaxed. We're going to center that and then get rid of the, the padding. Okay. And the other thing I noticed is that these, the WordPress buttons are rounded. You have the rounded corners, but the ones on Wix are not. So let's change that. For each one of these, we'll have to click on it. And is it under style? Uh, the border radius, we wanna make sure the border radius is zero, okay? Zero for travel, same thing for each. Change this border radius to zero. And then relax, go to style, change the border radius to zero. So that, that looks much better from the perspective of the home page. so we will update that. And if I recall correctly, um, if we want to go to the other pages, we can go to the about page. I don't think there was much, if anything, that we wanted to change here other than the header, but we already changed that. So this looks good to me. Um, and then the same thing for the blog post page. This looks, this looks fine to me. 
um, maybe some minor tweaks, but yeah, we'll get out of here. And what I want to do now that we have made those tweaks is to compare the Wix site with the WordPress site. So this is the WordPress site that we're looking at now. And then this is the Wix site. So uh, we'll just look at the pa them again, page by page. So this is Wix scrolling through. That's what we have originally. And then this is WordPress scrolling through. I, I th like I said, uh, we could update the co the social icons if we wanted to, to be the same grayscale color to match up with the Wix. But as far, or I guess this would be a white in this case, but as far as the content is concerned, everything's in here. Everything's pretty much aligned to the way that we need it. Same thing for the about page. We'll look at that real quick one more time. So the about page for Wix is this, the about page for WordPress is this. And then finally the travel page this is the travel page for Wix that we're looking at. And then this is a travel page for WordPress. Hopefully this helped you guys in your endeavor to convert your Wix site to a WordPress website. Uh, like I said, I do have the link in the description below if you wanna get started with 10 web. There is a 14 day free trial at this time, which is a no obligations, not even a credit card or anything like that. You saw me do it here. Um, so check it out. Thank you for your support. Subscribe for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I will see you in the next one.